Hey everyone, it's Danny with DB Studios and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to start taking a look at the pen tool, which is actually one of my favorite tools on Photoshop because of how easy it is to use and the number of different things you can actually use it for. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to start using the pen tool, there's two ways to activate it. You can just click here to activate the pen tool or you can hit P on your keyboard to activate it. So the pen tool is fantastic if you wanna make a mask, you wanna cut things out, or if you wanna create any type of selection. So let's actually start off by outlining my initials. Pretty simple so far. So we just click away Click, click, actually let's fix that. Click and click. So there we have it. And if we go on this uh, panel and go on paths, we can see that our working path, which is what our pen tool is using, this is the path that's being created. So while the work path is still selected, we can continue to make additional selections even after we enclose our first selection. So we'll keep clicking away to make this part of the mask because we want the inside to be clipped away as well. So let's do that. And it's hard to see here, but now the inside of the D is selected. Let's do the same over here. All right. And last but not least, here. And that's our selection. So once you finish, what you wanna actually do is click here, double click on the work path, and we're gonna give this a name, DB. So now once you created your work path, what you can do is right click on it and click on make selection. And we just want, we don't want any feathering. So this is fine, we'll click okay. And now we have a selection. So if we go here, click the mask button, and we can cut it out. And the nice part about this is that if we ever want to do the selection again, once we made a path with the pen tool, we can always select it as many times as we want. So I could do make selection again. And let's go on layers, let's go on new layer. Let's drop this beneath. And let's take the brush tool. Let's change the color to maybe something like a blue. And I'm gonna change this brush. Let's use a soft round brush. And let's paint away. Paint, 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 paint. And now we're gonna take it and we're gonna shift it. Boom, there we go. So as you can see, let's deselect this. We made a duplicate. So that's one of the things I love about the pen tool. Once you make the selection, you can constantly select it as many times as you want. But the great thing about it is also that once you make a selection in a project, you can always make multiple selections. So I'm gonna show you how. Let's click on the mask and let's delete the layer mask. And what we're going to do now, we're gonna go back to paths and we're gonna click new path. And what we're going to do now is begin to trace the word studios. So I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard and let's start doing this. So what do you do when you have something that's curved? The nice thing about the pen tool is that it works with anchor points. So watch, let's click here. And another tip while using the pen tool, if you're going to use the pen tool to create a mask, try not to click on the very edge unless you have a hard edge. Because when you start to blur or feather the edges, you're going to have a halo effect around the object that you're masking, which won't look too good. So we're gonna click slightly inside. Click, use this anchor point to curve it inwards. And then we keep doing the same thing. Click, curve the anchor point, click, curve the anchor point, and let's go here, click, curve the anchor point. 
and then likewise here we're going to click and match the anchor point to this edge and now the thing is every time you draw a new line the line will go in the direction that this end of the anchor point is pointing so if you don't want the line to continue in that direction all you have to do is hold alt or option on the mac to click and remove that end of the anchor point and now we can continue so i'm going to speed through this just a little bit Now we have an interesting moment where this curve suddenly becomes sharp and it turns. So what do you do? You can literally just click and deselect this edge of the anchor point, click here, click here, or another way to do it. So hold the Alt or Option key, click, click, and I'll turn the corner and click it again. So from here, I'm gonna skip forward to the end to where I finish outlining the entire writing. Now that we have the path drawn out, all we have to do is click here, rename the path to Studios, and now we have our new selection. We can highlight both, click Make Selection to make a selection of both, and we have access to each of these layers now. And there are many other interesting things we can actually do with the paths. So we're going to hide this layer, and we're going to actually create a new solid. Let's make the solid white and we're going to leave that there and we're going to click on layer one. Then we're going to right click the path, click stroke path. And what we're going to do is click simulate pressure and we're going to set this to pencil. And now let's hit OK. So then now when we deselect it, now it's like we have a pencil drawing outlining the word studio. You can do this with many types of mediums. You can use the brush tool. You can set it to other tools as well. And also you can change the color. That's also another pretty cool way to utilize the pen tool to create effects, outlines, and, and things like that. Another interesting tool I wanna show you, you can click fill path and you can just instantly fill it that way as well. And yet, let me show you another thing you can do if you go on paths, if I go on my brush tool, let's change my brush tool. Let's use this one. Let's change the size just a bit. And now what we're going to do, now we are going to right click DB and go on stroke path and we're gonna set it to brush. And now we can even get that type of outline. So the pen tool is a very fascinating and interesting tool, which you can do so many things on it. This was more of a quick tutorial introducing some of these things that you can use the pen tool for. If you want me to do a more comprehensive video on the pen tool, just let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you all in the next video.